one today I'm doing this look right here it's a little bit dramatic but not so dramatic where you couldn't wear it out of the house I would obviously wear this out of the house because I'll wear any kind of makeup out of the house if you want to know how to get this look right here just keep on watching Alright, hey guys, so to start out I'm just doing my typical like skincare before I put on my makeup because if you moisturize, prime, and all that good stuff before you actually apply your makeup, then it'll go on the best that it can. All products that I'm using will be listed in the down bar, so do not forget to check that out if you're curious about any specific information about the items that I have been using in this video. And then I am taking my Maybelline Age Rewind Pink Corrector, putting it in the spots where it get a little dark. Then I just blend it out with my Real Techniques sponge. And then I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, whatever it is, and then the L'Oreal True Match. I mix a lighter True Match and a darker Pro Matte just because I got a really dark pro matte thinking it was going to match my fake tan and it didn't. So just mix those two and I'm actually obsessed with the finish that this gives. They're both matte but they it just gives amazing finish. And then I'm taking my Maybelline Age Rewind yellow corrector whatever you want to call this stuff. I don't even know what the color is but I love it when I have a fake tan on. So I'm just putting these this in the places that I normally highlight. Then using my Real Technique sponge again just to blend that out. My Real Technique sponge is actually not wet when I'm using this. It's not damp at all. It's just sometimes I don't like to use it damp. And then I'm using the LA Girl Toffee Concealer, I believe, to bronze. And I know it looks incredibly crazy right now. Like it looks like I have just orange on my face, but I do blend it out. And when I put my powder on top, it doesn't look horrible. See, now I'm going over all of that area with my sponge and it just kind of blends it out a little further. Now I'm actually baking under my eyes with my Cody Airspun Naturally Neutral Powder and I didn't realize that I wasn't actually fully in the frame when I was doing this, but once I get to my eyes, I'm completely in frame so we don't have to worry about that. Then I am setting my eyes with that same exact powder too just because they crease with that concealer, I don't know why, it's just gross, so I just use my sponge to kind of get those creases out and then set them with my powder. Now I'm going in with a Wet n Wild bronzer, but it's like white, so I just use that to set the bronze parts of my face. And then going with my Smashbox bronzer, I'm just bronzing up the same exact areas where I put that darker concealer to bronze my face up. Now going in with my favorite hard candy eyeshadow, except I do use it as a highlighter because it's amazing as a highlighter. So why would you not? I don't know. I love it as a highlighter. Then I'm just using any shimmery white shade and putting that under my brow bone and in my tear duct as well. Then I'm taking any cool tone brown. This doesn't, doesn't really have to be that precise. I'm just putting it in my crease. Trying to stay above and not really on my lid, but it doesn't matter because we clean it up later anyways. And then I'm taking a huge fluffy blending br brush and just blending that all out. I blend after every single step that I do just to make sure it's as seamless as possible. Then I'm taking a darker cool tone brown and if you see how I'm holding my brush, I'm not really getting it up into my crease. I'm trying to keep it lower in my crease so that when I'm trying to do a cut crease and I have to kind of carve out that lid, the black, or not the black, the really dark brown is not all the way up and it doesn't make me look like I have a punched eye. So just try to keep this darker color as far down as you can in your crease. And then of course after this I will take my big blending brush again and just blend that all out to make sure it's all seamless, seamless and that there are no harsh lines. 
And before I did this, I actually did take a concealer and carve out my crease, but I didn't realize that I was not in the frame whatsoever, like I couldn't even see my eyebrows. So I just carved out my crease with a little bit of concealer, and now I'm taking a really pale shimmery pink shade and a really pale white shade, and just packing both of those on top of where I carved out my crease and making sure to not get any of that in my crease whatsoever. Now I'm just taking my Becca Cosmetics Opal whatever highlighter, I think it's actually the white one, I'm not sure what it's called, just packing that on the middle of my lid basically. And then I'm just taking a clean blending brush and blending out the top of my eyeshadow where my crease is. And I also just kind of cleaned up whatever was on my lid so it didn't look powdery. And here I am taking a super thin angle brush and I'm taking the same dark color that I used in my crease and just really cleaning up that crease that I did just so it's a little bit sharper and you can definitely tell that there's a cut crease there. And if you see how I'm holding my brush when I do this, I actually kind of flick the color up into my crease so that I can blend it as well as cut it. some liner and lashes. I know I'm just curling my lashes so that they blend in with my real lashes. And then I applied some L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara on top just to blend them in further. And now I'm taking that light cool tone brown and putting that under my eyes. Just blending it out. I do take mine down pretty far, but that's just because I have big eyes, so I like to take my bottom shades down really far. Well, not super far, but pretty far. And now I'm taking my... N what is that called? My NYX Cosmetics Milk Crayon thing. I forgot. Brain fart. And I am taking those two pink shimmery shades, well that one pink shimmery shade and that pale shimmery shade that I used on my brow bone, and I'm just popping that on my inner, inner corners on top of that milk base. Then taking some L'Oreal Telescopic and putting that on my bottom lashes as well. And then using some NYX Pink Blush, I'm not really sure what the name is, but it's just the NYX Blush and I've had it forever. It's a light baby pink and I'm just dusting that on my cheeks. Just a very light amount. And then going back in with that Becca highlighter and just kind of intensi intensifying my highlight because I want to be seen from outer space as they all say. And using my ColourPop Midi Liquid Lipstick. Just putting that on. I didn't use a lip liner or anything because I don't feel like I need to with these. Alright guys, so that was the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to like and comment and leave your requests on other videos you'd like to see. I'm kind of just super excited about my new lighting and camera setup and I just want to film a bunch of videos. So if you guys have any suggestions, just please, please let me know what you would like to see and I will get right on those. Thank you so much for watching and have a great evening, night, day, wherever you are or if you're in Minnesota like me, have a great evening. Thanks. Bye.